small town called Cotton Plant, Arkansas. My maternal and paternal great-grandparents were slaves. My uh, grandparents were sharecroppers on both sides of my family. And I was born in 1965, the youngest of 11 children and the first to be born in a hospital. Uh, coming home uh, in 1965 to a two-bedroom home that you shared with your parents and you shared with your siblings, no running water. Uh, my grandfather, grandparents, and, and I certainly want to emphasize, uh, my parents really emphasized to us that uh, you know if we, you know, we studied hard, you know, we worked hard, that things would be much better for us, regardless of those obstacles. And I remember them telling me that if you can survive cotton plant, if you can survive being born and being raised on a former plantation, then you can survive anything that's thrown at you. If a superintendent is going to make sustained long-term change, positive change, and have a positive impact, she must or he must work closely with with the Board of Education. Very transformative. Um, he's brought to the district um, a new view on terms of how we can uh, better educate our students. He's very involved with our community, which has been um, wonderful to see. Very engaging with our staff, uh, with our parents. You know, I've even talked to students who love him. So he's bringing just a new energy. Now, have they read the book? This group has not. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. One of the greatest uh, opportunities we have now to uh, close the achievement gap is to provide more extended learning opportunities with students. Because I've, I've been saying for years, in order to fix the achievement gap, we must fix the opportunity gap. Are we going to do the very best we can? Dr. Tucker, from the first day that I was here until now, has an unrelent unrelenting uh, pursuit of, of academic excellence. I, I've, I've never seen, it's unparalleled, really. Um, he's very passionate. His expectations are through the roof. Are, are the word sentences okay? You, we're understanding those? When you start to provide more opportunities uh, uh, for students, particularly students in poverty, those students will do well. Because again, I'm drawn back on my past. My teachers, my parents provided learning opportunities for us. And there are tough times and choices had to be made between what food is gonna be on your table and what educational resources that you're gonna have because you have 11 children. But I remember my mom uh, and my dad saying, you know what, we're going to buy these encyclopedias. And in high school, my class was 98% black. But we had the absolute best teachers. When I say the best teachers, I'm talking about caring, compassionate teachers. This is uh, Mrs. Ruth Randall. Uh, she was my English teacher, one of the best English teachers in the world. We knew we were poor, but they didn't let us know we were poor. They did not let us develop a poor student mentality. Our teachers uh, were, mag they were magnificent in saying to us, we're in this together. We are, we're gonna grow and we're gonna achieve together. You know, the reason that it's so important for GE Aviation to be involved in the community, we have a vested interest in having really good future technologists. Dr. Tucker, his school district has been fabulous to work with. The short-term win-win is that the volunteers, this year we're going to have about 40 volunteers at the, at the five schools. The volunteers have as much fun as the girls do. What do you know about the sun, Shay Shayla? Um, the long-term win-win for GE is that we're getting girls that are local to the area excited about STEM and maybe someday going to come work for GE. I was very impressed uh, by his desire uh, to want to be part of the community and realize that the schools only work with the cooperation that the communities that they are a part of. In 1988, 
had an opportunity to attend Philander Smith College. And my grandfather was very proud that his youngest grandchild had an opportunity to have a pre-med fellowship, a full ride uh, to med school. And he reminded me in the journey in becoming somebody, don't forget where you come from. And he gave me the small vow and had uh, bits of cotton and cotton seeds from the 40 acres that he, my grandmother, and my brother and sister and I, and of course my parents worked. And it meant a whole lot to me. It was symbolic in terms of the hard work uh, that we put in and the value of education. I believe this is the greatest profession in the world. This is the greatest profession in the world to change lives and save lives. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.